hi everyone uh, this is prateek from centrum academy uh, we will be looking at a problem today uh, which has been a, a question in our previous year's paper uh, this question is from carbon and its compounds and uh, uh, the question is for two marks uh, i have just picked up how this question would generally look like uh, in your question paper had you been writing this paper uh, so uh, you know these papers are generally printed in hindi and english both and therefore i have Uh, taken out uh, both the versions of the question so let's read this question it says a compound x on heating with excess concentrated sulfuric acid at 443 kelvin uh, it gives an unsaturated compound y uh, x also reacts with sodium metal to evolve a colorless gas z identify x y z write the equation of the chemical reaction of formation of y and also write the role of sulfuric acid in the reaction so whenever you read such a question uh, a, a very good idea is to actually write what is given to us so you simply mention the given given parts uh, so you say uh, x on excess concentrated sulfuric acid so x uh, in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid sulfuric acid uh, at 443 kelvin so i am also going to mention the temperature here 443 kelvin Uh, actually ends up giving out an unsaturated compound y so y and i can make a small note below i can say this is as as a uh, uh, unsaturated okay good now now as soon as we know this uh, the second thing that it also mentions is that x also reacts with sodium metal to evolve a colorless gas so x plus sodium metal gives a colorless gas z okay now uh, uh z is colorless so there are there are multiple options that we can think about right so uh, one of the first things the first clues that we can actually understand is from concentrated sulfuric acid if you know from our syllabus concentrated sulfuric acid is one such chemical uh, which actually uh, does dehydration to alcohols so therefore our x has to be an alcohol and y has to be some sort of an alkene so uh, i'm going to mention that with a yellow colored for for you to write so this is the rough that we actually uh, would do now if uh, x is an alcohol let's check if the second reaction works out uh, does an alcohol with a sodium metal give some colorless gas and i we know that yes it does give and this would be a hydrogen gas released so one thing we are very sure that yes hydrogen gas can suit the answer now which alcohol it is and which alkene it is this can be according to uh, you know our our own assumptions or uh something that we can actually uh work out on now uh if if you have to write this answer once we have understood this rough work what we will actually do is uh basically uh begin writing the answer saying that uh yes we have identified uh, a x to be an alcohol uh so you mention it in words and you also it's a good idea to choose one alcohol uh ideally we, we will choose the lowest of the alcohols and therefore we'll call this as ethanol uh if you have written ethanol ethyl alcohol instead of ethanol that also works so you should clearly mention ethyl alcohol and write its chemical formula as c2 uh, uh h5oh okay so x is identified the second thing that you actually actually it's a good idea to mention is uh the b part where you write this as y uh, and you say that this is an alkene now if you have taken up alcohol please note that the alkene that you should write should be a corresponding alkene and therefore the only option that you have is c2h4 and you should definitely write its name and this is actually an ethene so you can mention the chemical formula in ethene as part c now you have to identify z and we know that z is actually hydrogen gas so you can mention z as hydrogen gas hydrogen gas and you can write its formula also as h2 now once we've written all this entire answer uh, uh, please note that they have also mentioned write the equation of the chemical reaction of formation of y so it is very important to write this equation so we will write this as c2h5oh in presence of concentrated h2so4 and at 443 kelvin actually ends up giving c2h4 plus water okay so please note that i have clearly mentioned water here it's important to write both the compounds together and uh, now the last question that they have mentioned is to write the role of sulfuric acid so we will write sulfuric acid sulfuric acid 
is a dehydrating agent here works as a dehydrating agent dehydrating agent now uh, please note that once this entire answer is written i'm also going to share how the marking scheme is there for this particular question the first three parts are in together totaled as one mark so essentially uh, if if we are if we are able to write uh, uh, anything that is uh, about uh, sorry give me a second yeah so if if we are writing um, uh, any two of these parts uh, you'll realize that we we should be writing about we should be getting about one mark on that now uh, uh, now let's look at the uh, second uh, uh, part of this which is c2h5oh now in this portion uh, you will realize that uh, the first part is actually given a half a mark and the second part is given half a mark so out of these three if you are able to uh, identify any two of them uh, you should be able to get one mark here and you should be able to get half a mark here and half a mark here and this is the model answer that you should write for a two marker question Thank you so much signing off uh, uh, we'll be looking at some more questions in the following videos thanks a lot